Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. For for y'all wouldn't be able to do this. But anyway, so last night the internet was on fire, and I'm thinking it's because of the national title game, the women's national title game. No, I went for that. Coach Cal is supposedly leaving Kentucky to go to the University of Arkansas. Now, he's been at Kentucky for a, at least the last 15 years, and he didn't do good these last couple of tournaments. There's always been rumors circulating around, but then they came out and said Coach Cal was going to stay at least another year, and you see he didn't got the he didn't got on. Now, here's my thing, right? Kentucky fans ran this man off. They did. I'm sorry. They did. Has he only been to one national title? Yeah, I think he's... I know he's been at least a couple Final Fours. I'm going to say at least three. Which is three better than the majority of college basketball coaches, number one. Number two, the man, the man brought you some talent that you ain't going to never see. I mean, he bought you at least $3 billion worth of players <clears throat> with their NBA contracts. Anthony Davis, Devin Booker... I mean, Jamal Murray. Matter of fact, they had a picture where it said Kentucky players at the All-Star game. It was a whole bunch of them. I mean, I know everybody wasn't playing, but it showed John Cowell. He was at least with 10 or 12 players. Kentucky was an NBA factory. It was really John Cowell. He the one who really got the one and done rule or took advantage of it. And then you seen everybody else start doing it. You seen... Mike Krzyzewski started doing it and other coaches. And I really feel like that's why Coach K got out because he ain't had time for this one and done and NIL deal. But I know Eric Musselman had Arkansas as a pretty good basketball team, a couple NBA players. My question is, I don't ever remember Arkansas being historically a basketball powerhouse. Yeah, they did win a national title back in the day. But I don't remember top recruits committing to them year in and year out. Maybe Coach Cal, like, man, forget all this. I'll go to Arkansas. It's not going to be the same level of pressure. I can still get the same NBA talent. And, you know, we might we might be able to squeak out a Final Four one or two here. I mean, a national title here and there. But if we don't, people are going to still be appreciative of, of, of what I've done. And with Kentucky, they make it feel like if you don't win a national title year in and year out, your job is on the line. I know he's sitting back looking like I don't have time for that. I can, I can go coach somewhere else. And it's in the same conference. The same. It ain't like he went to a UCLA or Oregon or Washington. No, he went right to the same conference and said, "Man, forget this. I'll just go to another school in this conference. I'm not finna deal with this. This is wild." And I do do they people from do Arkansas got good facilities? I mean, am I just behind on this? Because like I said, I don't remember Arkansas being that good in basketball to where now they're about to be a, a recruiting powerhouse. But like I said, I remember a couple years ago, Eric Musselman, he had him a nice recruiting class. I just don't remember seeing it year in and year out, either growing up or you know, historically. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Kentucky, I don't know what y'all finna do. But tell me what y'all think.